All right, guys, uh, this is our Sierra Ibiza here. Um, we have the engine warning light showing on our dashboard here, as you can see right there. And I'm not sure if it's showing much on the video, but um, inside the vehicle, it's sort of violently shaking now. It's a, it's a Sierra Ibiza from 2002 or 2003, um, and it's a three cylinder petrol engine. So we believe it's only running on two cylinders, um, which means it, you know a car running on two cylinders is not gonna be um, very good at all so what we've got here is the uh, this is the auto fix um, OM123 which is available just by clicking the link below this video um, what I'll try and do is I'll just try and get a, a screen here where we can see what's going on basically we're going to diagnose the fault now I've already diagnosed the fault once right there we go so uh, read codes stored codes now it's giving us Cylinder 2 misfire, P0302. Bit of background information. Um, we were previously getting the code P0301, which was cylinder 1. Uh, so what I did was I changed the ignition coil from ignition, so cylinder 1 to cylinder 2, to see whether that would make any difference to where the fault was coming from, and it has. Uh, it's changed the fault from cylinder 1 to cylinder 2. So we know that the ignition coil is faulty. Um, so what I've done is, let's put that there for now. Gone out and bought our replacement ignition coil. This is the part number from Euro Car Parts. Um, I'm going to fit this now and then hopefully that will put an end to the, uh, the shaking of the car and also the engine warning light that you see on the dashboard there. Um, what I'll do is I'll show you the the engine, it's sort of shaking violently as well. Um, I'll do that now. So there you can see the engine there. You can see how badly that's shaking. So this is the ignition coil that we need to change over. So that just pulls out like that. That comes off just like that, so that's the old ignition coil. This is the new one. Alright, so that's in there now. Now what we need to do is go back into the vehicle and see how well the car runs. Okay, so the moment of truth. Okay. The car is a lot smoother now. We're not getting any um, sort of bumpiness or any shaking in the car. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug in the auto fix again. So what I'm going to do now is delete the fault code and we should get rid of the engine warning light. So the ignition is on, we'll just click OK to that. It's, uh, it's quite hard to get the right light on this tool. <laughs> Alright, so you see the engine warning light, that's obviously still on. And we'll click on erase codes. Raise trouble codes, are you sure? Yes, there we go, the raise done. And we'll go back in and read codes. No fault codes. Excellent, so the car is a lot smoother now, which is absolutely brilliant. And it's all thanks to the ignition coil that we've put in there. Uh, so this is the Autofix OM123 and it is available just by clicking the link directly below this video. Uh, you can visit our website, which is www.diagnostic-world.com, um, or we do have a, a lot of other ranges of diagnostic tools to cover other systems, such as ABS, airbags, transmissions, uh, you name it, we've got it. Thank you very much for watching.